We've all heard of vampires, but you may not know that there are also vampire-like creatures from a ton of different other cultures. The Philippines has the Aswang and the Menendal, the ancient Greeks had the Kalikantados, and the Chinese have a hopping corpse called the Shangxi. All of these creatures all across these different cultures, time periods, and continents have two things in common. They suck blood and they fear garlic. Seems weird, but there might be a reasonable explanation. When garlic is crushed, it produces allicin, which is a natural defense against bugs and fungi. It can also help fight off infection, lower cholesterol, boost energy, and prevent some forms of cancer and repel mosquitoes. Facts that weren't missed by the ancient world. Hippocrates, the Greek physician and father of modern medicine, recommended garlic for infections, wounds, cancer, leprosy, and digestive disorders. The Egyptians had a similar practice of using garlic for medicinal purposes. According to a text called Ebers Papyrus, which was written in 1500 BC, garlic is both a cure for various medical conditions and an energy booster. The god of medicine, Asclepius, was taught by a snake the secrets of healing. Eventually, his talent grew so strong that he was able to bring the dead back to life. The trouble was, this threatened the balance of power between the world of the dead and the world of the living. So Zeus killed Asclepius to keep everything in balance. But at the time, Asclepius was writing out the formula for immortality, and the paper that he wrote his recipe on eventually dissolved in the rain. From that very spot, the first ever garlic plant sprouted, which is why ancient Greeks saw garlic as one of the ingredients for immortality. Even in ancient times, garlic was seen as curative, which matters to our vampire stories because a lot of ancient societies thought that diseases were a manifestation of evil, and anything with curative powers was often seen as a magical solvent to ward that evil off. When you know all of that, it's easy to make the leap from an herb that can lower cholesterol and fend off mosquitoes to a magic plant that can fight off vampires and ultimately keep your blood safe inside of your body. For more folklore, click here. If you were caught drinking coffee twice under Capilli's rule, you would be sewn into a leather bag and thrown into the Bosporus Strait. Later, dude.